In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create wooden blocks infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show the wooden blocks and it comes the step one here with the animated icon which I've downloaded from flaticons.com and then you can add the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show the step two uh, with a different icon and then comes the step three. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle here, maybe this much size and later if you want we can increase or decrease the size. Then I would like to fill this with some texture fill for that. Click on the picture or texture fill here and you can see the texture option. Click on this and you've got different texture options available. So I'm going to choose the texture option which is oak. Just click it here. You can see here this particular texture has been added uh, in the rectangle. Then you have to go to the effects. Under effects go to the 3D rotation. From the presets I'm going to choose scroll it down. You can see the oblique i'm going to choose this one which is oblique top right click it here you don't see any difference unless and until you go to the 3d format go to the depth and increase the depth here so you can see also depending on the requirement how much depth you need you can just take it maybe i'm going to take a depth of 45 and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline here and if you like to give an outline here instead of from the shape outline what you have to do is you can come to this one which is count, uh, contour you can see here and just give any color for example if i want to give white it will be white and if you like to give uh, some the size also you can just increase the size here you can see here it looks something like this all right so again depending on the requirement i'm not going to make it uh, two maybe 1.5 it looks something like this all right then i'm going to add two more towards the right so press ctrl d to duplicate and just place it next to this one you can see here again press ctrl d so these are my three uh, uh, wooden blocks all right so for this let me just make one kind of, uh, of a platform for that for that shapes and i'm going to select the rectangle draw a rectangle all right shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give any color so here i'm just going to give a kind of a tan color and then send this to back so it looks kind of a platform for our blocks to place okay so let me just move a little bit here so the, then the next step is i'm going to add only two blocks for that select these two and hold the control shift key and just bring it top you can see here again align it properly so this is my the second step and the third step i'm just going to drag this one and put it here you can see here so i've got three blocks here now you can add some text where i have added here like step one step two step three so let me just add the same steps here so go to insert text items or text box i'm going to say step all right make it bold i'm going to use the open sans extra bold and just place it here which is step again if you want to just change the color depending on your requirement you can change the color of the text and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to make it as 0 1 center align increase the size a little bit maybe 24 and then i'm going to add one rounded corner rectangle here a small rounded corner rectangle and shape outline no outline shape fill you can just give any color maybe i'm going to give green and send this to back and this color i would like to make as white the font color to be white select both of these press ctrl g to group it and then i'm just going to put it here so this is the step one align it properly select both the things press ctrl d to duplicate this comes my step two here and then comes the step three here so now i'm just going to change this to step two 
and this is step 3 and again whichever color you like here you can just change any color of your choice so I'm just going to give a purple and here I would like to give a kind of orange or red depending on the requirement so once this is done if you want you can insert some icons you can go to insert icons okay you can insert the icons from here or I have just used the flaticons.com okay this is the animated uh, gif files all right you can see here I'm just going to copy this one okay so the flaticons.com you can just copy and download it from there okay so let me just paste it here because the the background is white that's the reason I'm taking also the white background you can see here otherwise if I just change the color in the background it will not look good okay so this is uh, from the flat icon.com okay or if you don't want you can just go to insert and icons and just insert any normal icons so let me just close this one then go to insert text box here I'm going to type the title make it bold and detail text equals lorem within brackets one and I don't want this much large text I'm going to delete few line from there and then give a gray color reduce the font size maybe to 14 and make sure that both are left aligned and press ctrl G to group it and this is my first option here press ctrl D the second option comes here press ctrl D <coughs> sorry the third option comes here all right and if you'd like to do some basic animation also it can be possible so let's do the quick animation here first of all select this and this we can see here all these things the first block okay so let me just do it once again so I'm going to select the block hold the shift key select the option number one and the step text press ctrl G to group it okay the same thing I'm going to do for the second one press ctrl G and here also I'm going to do the same thing press ctrl G now select this one because it has come to front I'm just going to send this to back and here also send this back all right and then go to the animations enable the animation pane and here I'm going to select this block first hold the shift key select the second one and uh, this one and then I'm going to use a fly animation fly in animation for this I would like the second and third should come after previous so if I play it comes something like this all right and once this is done this should come the icons to so add icons more entrance effects click on the basic zoom click OK and this should happen after previous and then the text add animation more intense effects stretch click ok and stretch effect option should be from the bottom and this also should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here so now i'm going to select this one and this one fly in animation and this one the second one should happen after the previous all right now i'm going to copy this click on animation painter click on these icons and then this text i'm going to copy this here so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here then the second steps come and then the third is very simple i'm going to select this one fly in and then after that one select this icon animation painter click on this and this so let's play do a slideshow so the first step comes when I click the second comes and when I click the third comes